What is going on guys? It's Creed and we are going to be going over my shark deck profile. My shark profile is a little bit different from a lot of other ones. Um, I, mine's a little bit more nimble and I try and use uh, different combos before I lock myself into Xyz if I need to. So it's a kind of bit different, but if you want to see it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and we're going to get into this right now. So we have a Tenny Shitana. We have played two of them. You can play three. It's up to you. It's a free extender, but sometimes if you draw too many, it kind of sucks. But I think two is pretty optimal. It helps play around Tikaboo. So I played two, three Abyss Shark. These kind of go hand to hand, free special summon, and then you need to control water special summon. So special summon a search. This is usually you searching one of your combo pieces, whether it's your Abyss Shark or your Xyz Remora. Usually it's Xyz Remora. But um, yeah, one of the best extenders and support that we've gotten in a while. Um, free special summon and search is pretty broken. Your three bus shots are, it's your one card Xyz and it's one of your starters. It's actually your main starter because I wouldn't consider a bitch shark a starter because you need to control another water to do it. So this is still your starter. Bus shot shark still, you know, the mains after all these years. Um, you got three angler. Some people play it at two. I try and get as many good extenders as I can, especially with fish, because I, you know you need fish to have some of your combos. So I play it at three. I play two mini Ruka. This is pretty broken. It helps uh, stops cards like uh, Skill Drain. It's really good against Skill Drain. Runic Field Spell stops that too for you and your opponent's turn. So it's really, really broken. I like having it in the deck. Um, it outs a lot of stuff that people don't think it would out. Um, and I played it too, because also a white mirror target. It's a fish and um, it can special summon. It's, uh, it's a slight free special summon because you need to activate it right after you activate a water monster effect so your opponent can't activate something before you do. It does not chain block, which is stupid. I really wish Kanine would have had a chain block. It would have been way more broken and you can possibly play it at three, maybe. Um, sometimes you can draw it with other stuff. Can't really activate anything, but it's still a really strong card, so I played it too. Got the one right-handed shark, self-explanatory. One lantern shark, I like having this at one. Uh, I would have it at two, you know, just a white mirror. If I play more white mirrors, then I'd probably play two of these just so I can get uh, the max advantage off of it. But it's not really a starter to me because you need to have other cards in your hand. If I draw it, you know, am I going first hand or as my sixth card? And it helps me extend, but I don't really need it to do most of my plays. And a lot of the times I don't want to be locked into um, Xyz yet anyway. So I just have it at one because I can use it if I need to. It's a fish, it's a water, you know. Sometimes I just need the name. Um, two, uh, Lifeless Leaf Fish, really strong card. I played it too. It helps dump cards to add to my combos. Dumps Crystal Shark, um, dumps Right Handed Shark, it's pretty strong. Crystal Shark, of course, one of your extenders. I have two Sea Nettles. This helps you recycle back your, um, your resources. Usually, if you use this as part of your combo, you can use this to recycle back all your monsters that you need to get them back to your hand. And then during your, or you can use this to recycle back your um, extra deck monsters during your turn. You usually use your totally awesome to recycle back the monsters to your hand. So you get advantage back with your totalies, and then this recycles back your extra deck monsters. So then you can just play all over again like you never had your turn. Really, really good to recycle back your advantage. Uh, you got two Xyz Remoras. Um, I would not play this at three. It's really bricky at three. Honestly, I think it's bricky at two, but now we're playing the new support. I think it's pretty needed and it helps extend so much. It's a garnet, but like when you are able to use it, it's one of the best extenders in your deck, like able to get three monsters on the field and just recycle back to get three monsters. It's really strong and you can recycle it back with your um, Dark Lancer. So pretty good and especially summon effect is not a once per turn. So if you can recycle it, it's pretty strong. Now you got your one Gamma Seal. This is what you use. Fullest Barrel Goods to dump your Ice Barrier. Search this. A lot of opponents don't know that you're searching this because they don't know you can even play it. So it's really strong. Catch them by surprise. Game one or two. So a lot of times they'll be thinking whether they should ash this the next time. It's like, I don't want him to get a Gamma Seal. Really strong. Helps break boards. Really good. Three of Forbidden Droplet. Again, helps break boards. And it helps you unbrick your hand. Like if you have an Ice Barrier. Well, Armor Xyz, if you draw your right handed shark, it lets you, you know, get rid of them and also use them to negate your opponent. So it really helps. And this is a free extender in the graveyard if you do that. Same thing with Super Poly, helps unbreak your hand. And also, well, I guess you can't special summon this, but it breaks your opponent's hand and it helps unbreak your hand. So that's why I played those max of three. I have the one triple attack to its talents. Comes in handy when it does. If I don't see it, it's fine. Or if I don't need to use it, if I'm going first, I can also just get rid of it with Droplet or Super Poly. One white mirror, I like playing this at one. If you play this at two or even three, a lot of times you can brick on it unless you're playing like a super, I guess XZ's heavy variant. A lot of people will play it two or three. I don't like seeing too many of these, especially if I can't really combo or I don't see the cards I need. Like if you just draw like uh, Shatana 
and a crystal shark. You literally cannot use this. So I like seeing it when I see it. I like having a bunch of monsters in my hand more than I want to see this though, because I can combo a more monster in my hand and sometimes I can't use this. So at the one uh, Cyclone, I like having this going first over um, Harpy's Feather Duster, because if I go first, I can't use Harpy's Feather Duster, but I can set this and I can use it against my opponent along with my board. Uh, Instant Fusion, broken card, I don't know why it's not banned, but this gets you out your um, Mud Dragon. And you can use your Mud Dragon as protection during your turn. So you can avoid Imperm and Ash, or Imperm and uh, Veiler. It's really, really strong. Helps you just do your plays. All you gotta worry about is Ash and Nibiru, and a lot of times you get your um, your uh, totally awesome out before your fifth summon. So really strong card. Uh, three Imperms. You see I don't play a lot of monsters, so I try and avoid things like triple taxes and stuff. Most of the, or monster hand traps, of course. So I play Imperm and Droplet and stuff. Mostly board breakers, because I like this deck to go first or second. It's really, really nimble and I love it. Got the Ice Barrier, it does have a protection effect, but usually you're dumping this off so you can search your Abyss Shark or your Gamma Seal or even your Crystal Shark. And a lot of times you can dump your Crystal Shark. If you already have some stuff in the grave, you can just dump Crystal Shark and then you can recycle back any of these from your grave, even recycle back your extra monsters. So Ice Barrier is really strong, so I do like playing this little package. And your full armor lets you go into your Xyz, it changes your Xyz Fortress into this. Or you can XZ a four into a, the five, or you can even XZ one of your level fours or anything after it attacked into a Zeus. It's actually really strong and it actually comes in handy. Um, side deck, your side deck can be whatever you want it to be. You got your three Solums, that's what I use. Uh, it's a really strong card. Of course, it's a counter trap. Um, helps Dodd, Dark Road no more, a Droplet, and you know, Inherent Summons that you don't want your opponent to summon. Really strong card still. Uh, Droll is still a heavy Droll format. My deck plays under Droll. The only thing I search usually is a Bish or is with the Bish Shark, and then after that, if I get Drolled, I really don't care. The only thing I can't search is Full Armor Xyz at the end of the turn, but you know I don't really need it. It helps, but I don't need it. But most of the time, this is the last thing I try to search anyway. So I still have a full board like two Toads, um, a, a Stealth Kraken, <laughs> and a, a, like a Dweller. So you know it doesn't really hurt me that much because I still full combo except for maybe the full armor package. So I really play well under Droll. Anti-spell, of course, anti-spell self-explanatory. I got two more Cyclones, because you know, back row heavy decks. And of course, with the Harvey Feather Duster, I got the Utopia package in my side, just in case I'm going against a monster heavy deck. I just go into this, two Toads plus Draco is pretty broken. I got back row, you know, to help against whatever spells they try and stop me with, so pretty good. And you got your Harpy's Feather and your Triple Tax. The Triple Tax searches my um, Triple Tax talents. It searches White Mirror. Anything I need, or it even searches my Foolish Goods, so it helped me extend. Really, really strong. The extra deck is um, these are really the mandatory ones for this. Uh, your Toad Package, a two and two, is pretty standard. You don't really need to go in three because you really don't even need to special summon that many. Um, and you just recycle back so much advantage with those. You got the Abyss Dweller, mandatory, inherently you can summon it in your deck and it's a water, so why wouldn't you play it? Pretty broken, especially now that Cash Tier is out of the format. Really, really broken card, um, like Unchained in like Tier Elements. It stops them in their tracks, can't do anything. Got the, the um, Stealth Kraken package, they float, float, this helps break boards. Super, super strong, helps get back your resources by putting your toads under them, really strong. You got your Zeus, of course. Mud Dragon, of course, another one of your board breakers that you summon off with, um, your Garura. You got your Abyss Keeper. Like I said, I play and I try and play before I lock myself so I can go into an Abyss Keeper. If I just have other monsters that I can summon that don't lock me, I can link them off into something and especially summon a bus shot from my hand and then keep playing from there. Really, really good. I like playing it. I know how to play with it, so it really helps me. Areas to get other monsters off my hand if my opponent gives me another card. I can link them both off into this and I can keep extending from there with a Biz Shark because you can't use a Biz Shark if you control a non water monster, of course. Um, and of course, you got your uh, XE's armor package, just broken. <laughs> it really is. I, I, I would play the brick just to play it just because it is that good. It helps you play more into your turn. Um, so if you get Dark Ruler no more, you're not just stuck trying to just recycle back advantage and hope you don't die. You can still play this and activate this later into the turn and still have an interruption. And a non-targeted monster attach is pretty strong. So that's going to be the deck, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If there's anything you want me to change that can make it better, please give me your opinions in the comment section. I think this is a really strong and nimble deck. It takes a strong pilot to operate. I think I been playing it for like months and months and testing it so i think i know how to play it really well so it really suits me but that's really what's gonna do it let me know your comments in the comment section down below and that's it this is creed i'm out